He's 95, you're 96. <laughs> so, yes, so I now move to add this foreshadowed amendment um, as a proviso clause to the uh, motion that provided any business meeting prior to 2022 may move to suspend the changes introduced by Equal Birds Hugo for the following year's Hugo nominations only. Yes, please come to the microphone. Cliff Dunn, did Mr. Wallace intend to include the two previously rejected clauses, seeing as those were not struck out in his proposal, or did he just intend to include this single clause as a sole standalone? It's an addition. The language, the, the, the ratification language for requiring a re-ratification in 2022 should stand. Yeah, you know, that, that was part of the motion last year, and my intent is that it remains. I'm going to recognize the man in front first over here. Please, please come to the microphone. Don Tim, T I M M, point of parliamentary inquiry. Yeah, take take it out of the. Yes, thank you. Parliamentary inquiry. In view of the fact that it talks about suspending the rules, would that require a two, would that require a two thirds vote for passage, or would that be a, a, a majority vote? I don't believe it mentions a suspension of the rules, but I can't actually screen, see the screen for suspend the changes introduced. No, that's that's not a suspension of the rules. That is to suspend the changes implemented by EPH. That is not a suspension of the rules. Can Thank you, Mr. Name? Chairman. Secretary. Sir, can you just give your name to the secretary? The man in the back. Yes, you, the turns around. Thank you. So, point of parliamentary inquiry. Um, John Dawson. Um, Mr. Chairman, in the opinion of the chair, is this uh, Mr. Wallace's amendment as constituted a lesser change and therefore this would not require re-ratification? How did I know that question was coming? <laughs> <laughs> I, sure, it's lesser change. Cause yeah, it, 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 it keeps the changes in for less time, so I'm going to say it's a lesser change. Mr. Quinn. There hasn't been a There hasn't actually been a speech against yet. Is there anyone wishing to speak against? I haven't given a speech in favor either. Yeah, actually that's true. You got interrupted. Can you yield just so he can he just read the motion. Go ahead. Okay. So, as the maker, um, as I said, I understand the, at least I think I understand the motivations behind the 
movers of the previous amendment, we're in a time of flux when the Hugos are under attack. And it's not entirely clear how many different pieces are going to be needed to be able to get to where we want to get to. And it's not always clear how those things are going to interact. I understand the desire to say that maybe there's a better change coming along that when ratified, we wouldn't need EPH, or maybe people will decide at some point that there's um, you know, something that doesn't interact well with EPH, they may feel they need to make a choice between them. This allows them to do so um, simply by a resolution of the, uh, business, of the appropriate business meeting, but it allows us to bring EPH back immediately if it becomes clear that EPH is needed. In general, I think my, my personal feeling is we want to get as many things in the pipeline as possible because I think it's going to take a bunch of different changes to address different pieces of the problem. Um, and just in case anybody thinks, th as we were maybe hoping last year, that the puppies were going to go away after paying for one round of nominations, I note that from the Hugo uh, data last night, that uh, there were 170 people who voted for Vox Day over no award that are members of this year's convention. They will undoubtedly be nominating next year. Um, so clearly this is an ongoing problem. We need to have the maximum flexibility to deal with it. I believe this amendment allows that flexibility in terms of crafting the correct solution as we go forward. Thank you. You are now recognized for a speech against. Janice Kalekas, and we'll probably want to see that. G-A-L-E-C-K-A-S. Janice Kalekas, um, my concern with this particular uh, amendment is that it's always going to be one too late if we decide next year that we don't want it because we look at the numbers and turn it off and then next year we say, oh, we should have had it, let's turn it on. It's always going to be one behind the issue that we're trying to deal with. Mr. Cronenbull, for what purpose does the member rise? Parliamentary inquiry. Is the appropriate way to call the question to gain the recognition of the chair and then call the question, or to simply shout it out from the audience? <laughs> <laughs> Technically gain the recognition of the chair and then uh, shout it out. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I call the question. Is there a second? <laughs> Is there any objection to calling the question? Seeing none, we're going to vote on this amendment. All those in favor, please raise your What? 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 Can you read the amendment again? No. It's on the screen over here. It's on the screen. He can't see it. He can't, he can't see it. All right, I'll read it again. I'll read it again. Provided that any business meeting prior to 2022 may move to suspend the changes introduced by E Pluribus Hugo for the following year's Hugo nominations only. Thank you. Thank you. All right, all those in favor of the amendment, please raise your hands. Hands down. All those opposed? I'm going to say the ayes have it, the ayes do have it, the amendment passes. Now, on the underlying motion of EPH. <laughs> Miss Bemis, for... I move to call the question. Is there a second? Second. Is there any objection to calling the question? Objection. All those members still wishing to speak, please raise your hands or stand up. Do the hokey pokey. I don't. <laughs> All right. The motion to call the question and end debate requires a two-thirds vote. All those in favor of ending debate and calling the question, please raise your hands. All right, hands down. All those opposed? I'm going to say the ayes have it. The ayes do have it. The question is called. The question is now on EPH as amended. Uh, point of information? Yes. Um, I, don't think all, I don't think all of us have seen the new data yet, the report that was handed out. I certainly haven't seen it. Yes. That is a point of privilege. There are 